The particles of the standard model are classified under the gauge symmetries. The fermions of the strong nuclear force are the quarks, of which we have found six. They are called the up, down, strange, charm, bottom, and top quarks. The up, charm, and top quarks have a fractional electric charge of two-thirds, the other three quarks have an electric charge of minus one-third. The quarks interaction is mediated by eight massless gluons, which are the gauge bosons of the strong force. Their number follows from the symmetry group of the strong force, which is SU3. The remaining fermions do not participate in the strong interaction and are called leptons. Of course we have also six, the electron, muon, and tau, each with electric charge minus one, and their associated neutrinos, the electron neutrino, muon neutrino, and tau neutrino, which are electrically neutral. The electroweak interaction is mediated by the massless, neutral photon and by the massive C, W plus, and W minus bosons, which have electric charge zero, plus one, and minus one respectively. Again, the number of gauge bosons follows from the symmetry group, which for the electroweak interaction is SU2 cross U1. The fermions are subdivided into three generations that, roughly speaking, order them by mass. More important, though, the generations pack the fermions into sets that must contain equal numbers of quarks and leptons, otherwise the standard model wouldn't be consistent. The number of generations is not fixed by consistency requirements, but existing data strongly indicate there are only three. Besides the fermions and gauge bosons, there is only one more particle in the standard model, which is the Higgs boson. It is massive and is not a gauge boson. The Higgs is electrically neutral and its task is to give mass to the fermions and the massive gauge bosons.